Let's go. Okay. So um, the diagram shows part of the curve y equals x squared plus 5. And you're given the coordinates of one of the points and told there are some other points hanging around. Find by differentiating the value of the gradient of the curve at the point A. So this is, this should be quite straightforward. They just want you to show that you can take y equals x squared plus 5 and you can differentiate it. So what would we get? If we differentiate x squared plus 5, 2x. 2x, that's it, just 2x. Find the value of the gradient of the curve at the point A. Well, at A, x equals 1. So dy by dx equals 2 times 1. 2. There we go. That's why it's only 2 marks. It was quite straightforward. Why did you do dy by dx? Because it was obviously equal to uh, Because if x equals 1, you've got 2 times 1. Oh, yeah. Two times x. Yeah. So just two. Okay. Part two now says that the line segment joining the points A and B has a gradient of 2.3. Find the value of A. All right. Hang on then. This, this means that... Um, oh. That wasn't meant to happen, but here we go. It'll do. Um, this tells us that that line... That's that like strangely thick line. It's uh, like a gradient of 2.3. Well, we've got, the, we've got the values at the start end of it. And we know how to find the gradient of the straight line. So this is another way of saying, for part two, that the gradient... Remember we said gradient of a line is change in y over change in x. So that is the change in y... <coughs> a squared plus 5 minus 6 divided by the change in x, that's a minus 1, equals 2.3. All right. Um, that, that looks a bit of a mess. What have we got there? We've got a... A minus 1, A squared minus 1, over A minus 1, is 2.3. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of thinking here. What, what have we got? We've got A squared minus 1. That factorises, doesn't it? A squared minus 1 is difference of 2 squares. That's A minus 1 times A plus 1 over A minus 1 is 2.3. So the, the A minus 1 bit is just going to cancel out. A minus 1 is a common factor top and bottom. So we end up saying that A plus 1 is 2.3. So A is... 1.3? 1. 1. 1.3, yeah. It's easy as that. Well, it, it is. You know, it's, it's easy if you notice that you can factorise a squared minus 1 and cancel out the factor. I, I, I've i also done this by multiplying by the a minus 1 and taking it there. And then you get a quadratic equation that you have to end up solving. And it, it does take a little bit longer to come up with it. Um, you end up with two solutions. You end up with a equals 1 and a equals 1.3 and only one of them makes sense. So it's a bit harder. Um, there was a big help in those. Shh. Um, part 3. State a possible value for the gradient of the line segment joining the points A and C. Alright, well let's think about what we've learned from this. We've learnt that that gradient there, of that strangely thick line, is 2.3. Because that's what the question said. We've learnt that that gradient there, of the line at A, is 2. What can you tell me about the gradient of the line between that, that goes from A to C? The, um, <coughs> What about that gradient? 
Or would it be close to two? It, well, it, it would be between the two of them. It would be closer to two probably than 2.3. We just need to put in some number between two and 2.3. I think you're right. I think it would be closer to uh, two. 2.1, 2.2. It just says, state a possible value. So let's just pick a number. Let's say 2.1. As, as it is, we want to write anything between 2 and 2.3, uh, not inclusive, not including 2, not including 2.3. Anything in between those would do. There we go, that was another big pile of marks. You do an inequality there. That would be 7. You, you could, but they just wanted one value. They just said state, a possible value. Okay.